guys, it's Crafty K Bug, and today I'll be showing you how to make this sun charm. I'm really sorry I didn't get this tutorial up for a little while, and I didn't have any last week. And this one just took me a long time to film and make. But this charm is really cool, and I hope you like the charm. And so let's get into the materials you need to make it. It's pretty self-explanatory, and you can also use other tools and things. But I'm going to tell you the main things that are required. So, here we go. To make this sun charm, you'll be needing some yellow clay, black clay, gray clay, which I just mixed black and white for. This is Sculpey 3 black and Sculpey 3 yellow. And you'll also be needing a blade tool. Well, you won't be needing it, but it will definitely come in handy. You will also be needing some TLS or translucent liquid Sculpey and an eye pin if you'd like to make it into a charm. The translucent liquid Sculpey is required even if you don't want to make it into a charm. But you can probably make it without it, but it is very helpful. So now let's get started. So begin by taking a pretty decent chunk of yellow. This may be a little bit too much. So let's just say this much more of these other two to the side. And you also be needing something to work on glaze, paintbrush, oven. Hopefully you already knew those things. And you're going to roll it out into a ball. So something like this. Then flatten it into a circle shape. Keep it in the shape of a circle, please. And you can use a cookie cutter for this if you'd like. My cookie cutter is a bit small, so I didn't want to worry about it. And then just take pieces of yellow clay and make even balls with them. It's just small balls. And try to make them as even as possible. You'll be needing, I say start with 10. You may need more or less. Pins on the size of your circle. These are going to be the triangles around the sun. So large. And they don't have to be exact. Just try to get them pretty close. It'll make it look neater. And I'm just going to do these, and then I'll be right back. So I have my tin balls of clay rolled out. <clears throat> and you're just going to form these into triangles. How you're going to do this is you're going to pinch the top, like that, and then push on the bottom. Then pinch a little lower down, and push on the bottom. So you have something about like that. Then make sure it fits on your sun, kind of shape it towards the same width of your sun. And then to attach, take some TLS. Mine is extremely old and messy because of that. I can literally Okay, I can literally just rub this on here. Pretty sad, I know. Just take some TLS on there and just stick it on. Kind of push 
And don't worry if some TLS is sticking out because that will go into the clay after you bake. Then you'll be doing that with all of your balls and making triangles all the way around your sun. So just do one more with you and then pause the video and you can do them on your own. So make sure it fits the sun. Let you know it does. Rub some TLS onto it. and stick it on like that don't worry if it's not completely secure or anything because it will be after you bake so just do that all the way around till you have triangles all the way around your sun, and I'll be back. This is what it should look like after you finish, and you're going to bake this piece for about five minutes. Don't forget to attach your eye pin before you bake. So that would mean right now. that. And then now go and bake your charm. Okay so I finished baking my sun and this is what it looks like. I also have rolled out a thin black snake and two flattened out and cut out two gray squares for the sunglasses. So we're going to begin by adding these squares to the sun. So make sure the eye pin is at the top here. And then put on two squares for the sunglasses. And then you're just going to take a piece of the black snake, just using the dull side of my edge here, because I don't want to have to do it too completely. And then you're going to just wrap this around the square. So, look like that, and then go around here. And then up like that. Pull the snake in and flatten it out, kind of like that. Then I want to take a very small piece. I'm going to take a separate piece here. Just kind of roll it out like that. Take it and put it... I'm going to put mine on top, but you can also put yours in the center. Just kind of like connect the glasses here. And then you're also going to be taking this thin snake and outlining the rest, the other square of your sunglasses. Now you can move it around, touch it up. Alright, so you should have something that looks about like that. And I'm just going to take this excess piece that I had and roll it out into a ball. And then take another piece, very tiny piece, and roll it out into a little ball. And then we're just using these as pupils, so stick them on here. Like Try to flatten that one so it's as big as the other one. <laughs> so you show something that looks like this. And then you're just going to take another piece of black clay, roll it out into a snake. Not 
I'm going to cut off the excess here. On the edges. And then just take this little piece here and make it into a face. You can make smiley face. You can make... You can really do anything with this. You can make the eyes be weird. I don't know. You can do whatever. I'm just making mine in a smiley face. Because why not? So there's my son. Now all you have to do is bake it and glaze it and you have your own cute little sun charm. Now I wanted to show you guys something really quickly before I bake this. Does this really remind me of? This really reminds me of the Friendly Bands charm that comes with the sunshine lamp. They're twins. So here's the charm once it has been baked and glazed. Looks really nice. I kind of pushed up once I was glasses because it wasn't exactly where it was supposed to be. But it looks really nice and I really like it. So yeah, here's the charm. This would look great on a necklace or a bracelet or even in smaller form as an earring for summer. So, I hope you like this charm as much as I do, and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, leave a comment down below if you have any questions or comments, questions, or concerns. Um, don't forget to follow my Instagram. Instagram is crafty underscore kbug, and subscribe here on YouTube so you can insert your name after crafty. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. On to the verse of the video. Whoa, 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 whoa. You just made one, didn't you? I thought so. So, please, take a photo of it, put it on Instagram, and tag me so I can see it. I would love to see your renditions of this charm. And if you do, I'll give you a shout-out on Instagram. So, now, really, on to the rest of the video.